Alhamdulillah wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd. When you see something bad, you should change it. And that means you should change it to good. If you see something bad, you change it to good. If you do something bad, you should follow it up with something good. As uh, we've read in some of the ahadith of the Prophet wasallam, that whenever we do something bad, if we follow it up with something good, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will erase that bad and give you ajr. So for example, if you do something bad, maybe you cuss somebody, or you fight somebody, or you lie, or you steal, or you watch something bad, but then you do something good after that. After that, you make wudu. Immediately make wudu, pray rakatain to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then Allah will forgive that bad sin and replace it with something good. But the important thing here that we want to talk about, when you see something bad, my pens are bad, but they're not the kind of bad we're talking about. When you see something bad, you change it with something good. You change it. This sign means change sometimes. You change it with something good. Okay? There's a hadith in the hadith of Abi Sa'id al Khudri radiallahu ta'ala, who was a Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala majma'in. May Allah be pleased with all the companions of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Abi Sa'id al Khudri radiallahu ta'ala said, Sama'tu Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam yaqul. I heard the Prophet Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say, Men ra'a min kum munkarin fal yughayrahu biyan. He said, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Whenever you see something bad, change it with your hand. Fa'in lam yastatir fabi lisanihi. And if you can't change it with your hand, change it physically, you change it with your tongue, meaning you speak out against it. And if you can't change it with your tongue, you change it with your heart. That means you hate that bad thing, and that is the weakest of faith. This hadith was collected in Sahih Muslim. In this hadith, the Prophet showed us that Iman, that faith, has three levels, or has three different uh, parts to faith. Three different parts to faith. The first part, uh, part excuse me, uh, is, is uh, your changing things physically with your hands. Whenever you see something bad, it's changing it with your hands. This is number one. Sorry about the pen. And number two, is changing it with your tongue. It means you speak against it. And number three is hating it in your heart. So that shows us that Iman, that faith, even though there's a lot of Muslims who don't know what Iman is. Many Muslims do not know what Iman is. Some, many people, they say, oh, you don't know what's in my heart. You're right. I don't know what's in your heart. But the Muslims look to the way you do things. We don't know what's in your heart. I can't cut your heart open. I don't know what you 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 thinking now. I don't know what your heart is. Your heart clean or dirty? I don't know. I can only judge by what I see. If I see you doing bad things, then I judge that you're a bad person. When I see somebody they're doing haram, then I say, hey, that person... That person's not good. They like to do haram. I see somebody smoking a cigarette in, per, in, in front of everybody. Then I know that person has a problem with cigarettes and they're doing something haram because cigarettes are haram because they kill you. They hurt your body and they hurt other people. So that first level is you change it with your hand. So that shows us Iman is on our, our, our actions. Iman is a part of our actions. And or our actions are a part of Iman, our tongue, what we say when we say Shalom la ilaha illallah, or you say Salaam alaikum, or you do some you say something good, that's a part of Iman. That's Ajr. You get Ajr and your Iman goes up because you did something good. 
And if you say something bad, Iman goes down. So Iman, what does it do? It goes up and it goes down. It goes down. Your Iman sometimes is high, sometimes it's low. But you don't want it to get really low. Because when somebody doesn't believe in Allah, that means they have no Iman. Zero. If someone is not a Muslim, they don't have Iman. You can't say a non-Muslim has Iman. No, no non-Muslim in the world has Iman. Because Iman means that you believe in Allah alone and you worship Him alone. And you believe in the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the last Prophet and Messenger and all the pillars of Iman like we talked about from the Hadith Jibreel. And to me nubi lahi wa malaykin wa kutubi wa rasuli wa liyawm al-akhir wa to me nubi qadri khayri wa shar. All of that is Iman. All of that is your faith. That is faith that you believe in the heart. Because you believe it because the Prophet ﷺ told you and Allah told you in the, in the Quran as well. Mention those same things are part of Iman. Okay, back to what we're talking about. When you see bad, you change it. First level, the highest level is with your hand. That means if you see somebody doing something haram and you can stop them, with your hand, hey, don't do that. You take it from them. Then that's the highest level of Iman. But if you think by taking that from them, there's going to be a fight, there's going to be something very bad from that, then you don't do it. Because there's no benefit in that. So, for example, if you see somebody there older than you, maybe you have a cousin or maybe you have somebody you know and they smoke cigarettes. They're older than you. You guys are kids. And you say, hey, that's haram, and you take it. No, you don't do that. Because you, he, is older, he or she is older than you, and they have a higher level of position than you and status. So you can't do that. But you can go to the second level, and you can change it with your tongue. You can say, I'm me, or my cousin, my uncle, my aunt, my whoever, Please, you shouldn't smoke because it's bad for you. That is Iman. That is this level. That's on the tongue. Why is it the tongue? Why? Which one is that? If I say, oh, uh, uncle, please don't smoke cigarettes. Is that the hand or the tongue or is that the, the heart? It's the tongue. Why? Why is it the tongue? Well, yeah, so you don't get hurt, hurt, but it's the tongue because you said it with your tongue. You said it with your mouth. Iman is on different levels. If I see something bad in the road, like a, a, a thorn or a nail that's going to pop somebody's tire, or someone could step on it and hurt themselves, or it's something filthy in the road, and I move it out for the sake of Allah, move it out of the road, that's from Iman. The Prophet said that that is the... Uh, that's the lowest level or men sure to Iman. That's one of the lowest levels of Iman. And he said the highest level is Shaywan La ilaha illallah wa anna Muhammad Rasulullah. By saying, by bearing witness that there's one God, but only Allah is the only one worthy of worship, and there's no other gods worthy, uh, worthy of worship, then that is the highest level of Iman. But the lowest level, which is good, is if you do something physically and you take a harm out of the road. So that way it doesn't pop somebody's tire, or someone doesn't hurt their foot, or someone doesn't step in something bad. That's Iman too. But that is the physical. That's with the hand. Because you did it with your hand physically, or your foot, or you, you use your body. But if you speak against it, you say, hey, so-and-so, uh, -so, you see somebody, and they're lying, and you give them advice. You say, hey, don't lie. That's Iman. Which, which level of Iman is that? Hands, tongue, or heart? That's the tongue. Why? Because you? You're talking in your mouth. You spoke. Jazakallah Because you spoke against it. You spoke against something haram. If you speak against something haram, that's Iman. If you change something physically, like you, you're older than them. You can do it with your hands. If you see them doing something bad, you can grab them and stop them from doing that. Don't do that. That's haram. Don't listen to music. That's haram. Don't cuss. That's haram. Because you're the oldest. You set the example, and you're older than them, you have higher position than them. You're like their boss because they're young. So that is Iman. 
And so you, because you have that level, you can do that with them, with the hands. But me, I'm older than you. You can't say, I'm old. Don't do that. That's haram. You can't hit me. Because I'm older than you and I have more position. Maybe I'll say, Psh, don't hit me. Okay? So, that shows us Iman has different levels. The hands is the highest. Then the tongue, as far as changing something bad. The tongue speaking against. And the last level is the Prophet said, well, He said that that is the lowest ad'af. He, uh, an iman. he said that's the lowest level of iman. That's the lowest level is when you hate it in your heart. For example, if you see that same person, they're smoking a cigarette. And you say, subhanAllah, you say, man, I want to, I can't change it with my hand. I can't take it from them. And I can't speak against them because they might hurt me. Maybe they're going to burn me with the cigarette. Or maybe they're older than me. Maybe they're tougher than me and they're going to hurt me. Well, I hate it in my heart. That's iman. You hate that cigarette. You say, oh, I wish he would do halal and not smoke cigarettes. Or you hear people listening to music on the street. They're older than you and they're listening to music. Maybe they're going to beat you up if you say something to them. So hate it in your heart. Make dua. And that's, you know, make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to change that. Those are levels of iman. And all of that we should try. And today I'll tell, uh, it happened to me, I saw at my university, some kids, uh, university students, they were listening to music, playing it real loud. I said to them, I said, I have to change this. So I walked to them, and I went and I spoke to them. I didn't turn off their music in their car, but they were listening to crazy music. I said, I'm from America, and I left that music. You're from Saudi Arabia, and you're running to that haram. So I advised them, but in a nice way. And you know what they did? They said, Jazakallah khair. And then they turned the music off. And I said, Allah, you better think. I said, the Quran is better than that. And they listened. So that shows we can change that, that bad if we speak against it. If, if we have the ability to change it with our hands, okay, no. If you're not able to, with your by speaking against it. And for anyone you still there, with the heart, you hate it in your heart. And that's the weakest level of Iman. But all of them are Iman and you get Adjur for all of it. You get Adjur for all of it. So if you see someone listening to music, what do you do? Well, if you can change with your hand, do it. If you can't, your, your tongue. If you can't, hate it in your heart. You see someone doing harm, they're smoking, doing drugs. You should... If you can, change it with your hand, do it. If you can't, speak against it. You know, tell them, advise them. If that doesn't work, if you can't do that, then hate it in your heart. That is how Iman is. So we should try to practice that and ask Allah to help you, to help you. Another point I want to make <clears throat> is that we have to do this for ourselves. Meaning that we should try to change the bad in ourselves too. First, you don't want to tell everybody like Allah says, Do you call the people to good stuff, to righteousness? And you forget yourself? Do you think? Do you not think? Do you not have intellect? Do you not have a mind? Allah is, is saying to the people that do that, that say, hey, that's haram, that's haram, that's haram, and then they do the haram. They do it so no one can see. That's haram, don't smoke, it's bad. But then at their house, they're smoking weed. <sighs> Drugs, getting high. Okay? This is what Allah is warning us against. We don't want to follow those nations before us who used to call people to good and they didn't do it. Okay? That's very important to realize. So make sure, try to do the good and get rid of the evil. And I ask Allah the Almighty to bless us with tawfiq wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiya Muhammad.